That's the basic question. Are they going to be good in 2019? Are they going to sign and are the people who sign them going to be happy or not happy? Bryce Harper is without a question going to be super duper awesome next season. I think Harper is driven to get back to the guy that everyone thinks that like thinks about him in this crazy, you know, mythological sense. Oh, he's Bryce Harper, he's the most famous, you know, he's he's he was the most hyped player ever. Uh, and I think he wants to get back to that. Uh, well, the good news for Manny Machado is Manny Machado not trying is better than all of your favorite baseball players. So, who cares how hard he's trying? If this is about how he's going to be in 2018, 2019, this is about how he's going to be in 2019 for his new team. Uh, this guy's standard level at whatever hustle level is one of the 15 best players in the world. Like, you can't turn off that level of talent. Well, if we see, if we, if we think about Machado's try hard meter we've we have you know up here super duper try hard we've got david Eckstein over here and then over here we've got you know our 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 lackadaisical super duper stars like robinson cano bless his heart love that guy uh you know machado certainly on more in the in the cano, in the cano side of the spectrum he, you know up here what does he say not his cup not my cup of tea um, so I think we're gonna we're gonna hang in this side of the spectrum for most of the season. Manny Machado, again, barely trying to play baseball, is still so 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 good. Uh, so he'll he'll be good. They, 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 we have not seen a bad Manny Machado. Oh, my man, nasty Nate. Again, we talk about the try hard spot. I mean, the Evaldis. He did so much. He was the most extra pitcher around in October. I feel like we saw the best possible version of him, and that was because the Red Sox and, and I guess himself were forcing himself into situations where he could even be his best self, you know, putting it all out on the line. Uh, now he's back to, I can't even picture him pitching in the regular season. I think he's gonna be, I think he's gonna be really good, but I think he's also gonna be really good in the same way that he's been on and off for all of his regular seasons. And I, I'm not sure he's actually really turned a corner. Well, uh, I don't know the extent to which we witnessed his, you know, uh, his mortality. There's no good closer deal. You can't give a closer a lot of years and end up being a good contract. That's just not, that it's not, it doesn't compute. That's not possible. If I'm, you know, negotiating with Craig Kimball, it's like, look, dude, I know that by the end of this contract, it's going to be ugly and guys are going to be calling through your head and saying, Craig Kimball shouldn't even be pitching the eighth, let alone the ninth or the seventh or the sixth. This guy should be coming in to mop up work. Like we know that's how these contracts end. If I'm talking, if I'm going to Craig, if I say, Craig, I just need you to be super awesome immediately. I need you to stay awesome. I need you to be your Craig Kimbrell in your first year. And then, you know, all will be forgiven because uh, there's no good closer contracts. I think his, generally his demise has been over, overstated and I think he's still gonna be pretty good. But it doesn't matter if there's no good closer contracts. I think Josh Donaldson is another guy who wants to remind everyone how ridiculously good he is, and uh, I think he's going to do that for whoever whoever signs him. Uh, a weird case, you could not have a worse entrance into free agency for Mr. Grandal. Lucky for him, all of the catchers in baseball are really bad, and he's not. Mm. I cannot imagine being excited to sign Dallas Keuchel. I can't. I can't. That doesn't even mean that he's going to be immediately a disaster. The best case scenario is that he's fine. Uh, probably every 10 years, we kind of review. We look back, okay, who won the Cy Young 10 years ago? What? What? How did that happen? All right, sorry, scratch it. We got to And then you reaward it to, to, the, to the other person. And then you have an extra award ceremony uh, at some point in the offseason that you are you know, reassigning to someone else.